Hello everyone, this is EGO with another Resident Evil 7 Biohazard speedrunning guide. This time we're going to take a look at the Jack 2 boss fight in Easy New Game Plus. So this is going to cover 80% and 100%. This also is going to work with both PC and console. I'm going to start by showing you a general strat for this fight. After that we're going to take a look at a little bit riskier version of the same strat. Um, it's just a slight difference, but it definitely saves time. Then. After that, we're going to take a look at the version differences between the Zero D Japanese version and pretty much every other version, including the Zero Z um, Japanese version. First, we're going to take a look at the items you're going to need for this fight. The Albert Zero One R pistol, the circular saw, and the infinite ammo. Before you get to this point, you're going to need to have already put the enhanced ammo in the Albert One pistol. At the beginning of this fight, you're going to get knocked down into the pit. Once you go to stand up, you're going to hold back into the left on your stick and the left trigger at the same time. This is going to pull you back far enough that Jack's not going to be able to grab you right, right off the bat, and it's also going to set you up for the, a little easier uh, time getting a headshot. You have to wait until he says the entire line, you ain't getting away, to get your headshot because of invincibility frames, and then you're immediately going to do damage with the saw. Once you back away, you can go over into this corner and you can get this healing item if you've taken damage, and then you're going to come over and menu and pick up the chainsaw. He's going to say groovy, and when he finishes that is when you're going to take your next headshot because of invincibility frames again. And then you're going to saw him until he says you're going to die here. Once he says that, that is the fight uh, ending. So then you're going to come over to this door. In this Zero D version of the game, I'm almost immediately able to open this door because of the censorship that is in the Japanese version. We're going to take a look at a little bit riskier but faster version of this fight first, and then after that we're going to take another look at the differences between the CRD version and all other versions. In this riskier version of the strat, you're going to just stand still and you're not going to pull the left trigger on your controller. This is going to make you have to hip fire the headshot and then immediately go into doing damage with the saw. You're going to push forward while doing that damage, which moves Jack closer to the fence. That's where the time saves coming from in this riskier strat, is that he doesn't have to walk over to get to his chainsaw. The reason it is riskier is because when you don't move, you're putting yourself so close to Jack that if you don't have very good timing on your headshot, he's going to grab you and it's going to lose a lot of time. Now we're going to take a look at the difference in the Sierra D version and all other versions. In Sierra D, there's no dismemberment allowed. So in this animation where Jack's upper half of his body explodes, that doesn't happen in that version. So in this version, you have to wait until those legs take a few steps and then fall before you're able to open the door. And in the Sierra D version, you almost immediately get to open the door because you don't have to wait for that to happen. I just want to give a shout out to Ross Rossi 8 for letting me use the Jack 2 fight VOD from his world record run. Um, his is nearly perfect and I thought it would be a little better to show that than one of mine that's a little less clean. So thanks to Ross for that. Come back soon for more Resident Evil 7 speedrunning guides. Thank you for watching. Seriously. Oh, and I get grabbed again. Oh, and apparently he's going to take two headshots.